tonight we have Stephen Moore, the animation director of The Simpsons. Hey, everyone. All right, so how did you get into, like, the whole idea of animation? Like, what, like, what motivated you to become, you know, a part of The Simpsons or just, you know, animation in general? Well, um, I studied art in school and realized I wanted to eat and pay rent. And a friend of mine suggested I get into animation. And I worked very hard for a few years and uh, finally got in. Um, worked on uh, in children's television and then a few years later I I got a phone call and this company said can you do uh, an active storyboard which is like a comic book for your cartoon can you do that in a weekend normally most artists get about two weeks for that I did it and they said okay you're hired and I've been working on the Simpsons ever since wow that's really good to hear so what do you call it? Did you ever make a film or video when you were a kid, like while you were in high school? You know what? I am ashamed to say I never made a film or video as a student. I wish I had. And I'll just say this. You guys are, it's so great that somebody in high school or even in elementary school can make a film because you have the tools now. In my day, we would have had to have gotten, you know, a butter churn and a, wag and a wheel. We would have had to make it in film. It would have been, couldn't have done it unless we had a lot of money. <laughs> you guys have so many great tools. It's great. Yeah, well, you know what? Everybody still has a kid at heart, so <laughs> you can still bring that kid out and say, hey, I'm a kid, and make a video for, you know, Kids and Teen Film Festival. You still can. Yes. All right, so what do you enjoy most, like, about what you do now, working on The Simpsons? Um, I like um, trying to find out how to make a scene, you know, a scene or a sequence in a, in, in a show very funny, the best way to tell a joke. Um, that's kind of what I've really learned on The Simpsons is how to tell a joke. Um, there's a million and one ways to do it, and um, sometimes it's trial and error to figure that out. Um, but when it works, it clicks, and, it, and it, you feel it in your gut, and you know it's right. That's very true. Well, you know what? Like, you guys on The Simpsons had a great impact. You guys made a movie, and <laughs> it turned our 7-Elevens into the Quickie Mart. Like... <laughs> And then a video game came out, which I already told you about, yeah. and I lost it. I'm very sorry about that. Well, if I find <laughs> it, I'll, I'll turn it in. Thank you. <laughs> well, so what advice would you give to kids out there who want to, you know, be an animation director, perhaps? Well, um, you want to learn about uh, telling stories because um, films are about telling stories, and there's many ways to tell the same story. So... You may want to be a great cinematographer or a director, or you may want to do something else, but it all comes down to telling a story that um, people understand. And, and hopefully, hopefully your story is communicated in nonverbal ways. If people understand your story and they don't speak the same language that you shot that movie in, but they get the story, then, then you've really communicated something very powerful. Well, we work a little differently. We actually get the voice tracks first. But um, a lot of people in animation, um, different kinds of shows, um, early animation was had no voice track. So you can visually tell a story with no dialogue. And uh, that's a, many, uh, many cartoons like Ren and Stimpy used to do that. They would just kind of pose out the, uh, the, the narrative. And then they would add the lines later. Um, but people would still understand the story. And, and oftentimes when I'm reviewing uh, shows that I work on, I will turn the sound off and I'll just scroll through it. And you can, you can see how it plays. And the things that don't work just pop out at you just like that. It's a funny way to, it's, it's, it's funny, but watch, try it sometimes. Sit there, turn off the sound, watch, fast forward through a movie, and just watch the whole movie and see if you understand it. Oh, that's very true. It's a good experiment, kids. <laughs> Wait, so have you worked on anything before The Simpsons? I worked on uh, some things in children's television. I worked on um, He-Man and She-Ra and um, the real Ghostbusters and uh, a few kids shows that were from a long time ago. <laughs> yeah, but once I got on The Simpsons, I said, I think I'll stick around this. Oh, that sounds really good. <laughs> All right, so is there any other Korean entertainment that you wanted to do first or you just went animation director right away? Well, I, I had always been a fairly decent artist, uh, so I studied art and I drew. Um, I was going to be a painter. Um, decided that I 
Um, didn't want to just. Do you like going to your office every day? I love going to my job. Staying in I, I really love my job, and um, I'm just going to work on The Simpsons as long as I can because I like. I, I just like doing it so much. That's good to hear. Wait, so how long have you been doing The Simpsons? Well, I've been on it uh, since 1989, so 21 years. That's really good. Yeah. Well, Pretty congratulations lucky. on your job, and thank you for coming out tonight, and I hope you get to enjoy the film festival. Thank you, Isabel. Thank you. And thank you. Mm -hmm.